Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip. Today I want to show you three ways you can practice on the go. Are you pressed for time sometimes? And even though you want to practice and you have all the motivation in the world, there seems to be just no time just because you're always running around, running errands, you're in the car, you're having all these things that you have to do in life. And I want to show you three ways how you can actually practice. Now, first of all, when you're especially driving in the car, when you're driving, like for me, that is my lifesaver, driving time. Because if, I, if it weren't for a lot of driving time that I had, I probably would have even less time to do anything in peace. Now, let me tell you what I do, especially when I drive the car. When I drive or when I do housework, vacuuming, I mean, anything you do, any time when you don't have to pay attention to anybody with your ears, which means you have your ears to yourself, you can listen to podcasts. Now, podcasts are a great way to learn in general, but there are also some podcasts are especially for singers. Now, of course, first of all, there's my podcast that you probably should check out. Um, you can go on iTunes or any other podcast player that you like and just type in Freya Casey or Freya Singing Tips and my weekly podcast will come up. I come up with a new episode every Wednesday and I'll give singing tips just like I do here and you can just listen to it on the go and sing along every once in a while when I show you exercises. There's one other podcast that I've found really great. It's called All Things Vocal by Judy Rodman. I think she's awesome and I think she gives awesome tips. So you may want to check that out too. Now, another thing that you may want to do when you're driving the car or running, like when I go for runs, I love to do that. Or when I walk the dog, like in the evening, I also encourage all of my students. And I had to do that um, when I was at university studying voice. I had to do this all the time record your lesson. If you do have a teacher, go ahead and record your lesson. You're going to get so much more out of it. And then that recorded lesson, you will just listen to at least once, you know, until you have your next lesson. It would be even better to listen to it more than once because what happens is like, first of all, you hear yourself from the outside. You hear yourself as others would hear you. Also, you notice things that are different, um, like what you did before and what you did after your teacher corrected you or told you to do something different. And you can actually, sometimes you can't feel the difference right away, but a lot of times it's very obvious on the outside because you can hear the difference. Also, what will happen is that your teacher's voice will be like this little bird in your head and it's gonna keep on tweeting out um, the things that your teacher says. So every time you come up to this passage or every time you do something in specific um, that happened on that recording that day of your lesson, you're always going to remember it so much better. It's going to be like this little voice inside of your head. It's like, okay, now she said this, now she said this, now she said this. It's like listening to any recording. Once you've listened to it over and over again, you already know ahead of time what's coming and that will really help you remember things. And, you know, the reaction is like also that you will get these automatisms so much easier and better, you know, breathing and all these technique things that your teacher is probably trying to teach you. It will happen so much faster. You will get so much more out of your lesson. Now, if you do not have a teacher, what I recommend is record yourself. Record yourself as you're practicing. Not just as you're recording a song that you practice perfectly, but record yourself in the process also and then listen to it throughout the week. And first of all, start to appreciate the things that are good in your voice. And second of all, you will notice the things that you need to work on. A lot of times your perception of what you're actually doing is so different from what's actually coming out. So listening to yourself and recording yourself, that is a great way just, and you don't even need to vocalize. You could just put your earplugs in and just listen to it anywhere, like on the train, on the in the car, doing housework. I do it all the time. And I learn tons just listening by to audiobooks, podcasts, and things like that. 
Another thing that I do all the time, like I said, driving is, it saves me. My driving time saves me because I, I have a little daughter, I have a house, I have so many students, I do so much stuff. But what really helps me is like this driving time, what I do, I learn my lyrics while I'm out and about. I just listen. Now, if I'm in the beginning or if I already have everything down, I may listen to the original song um, of the original artist. You can do that in order to memorize your lyrics. But the even better way is to have a recording of yourself. Yes, even of your lesson or of you just... It doesn't have to be the best recording quality. The main thing is just record yourself singing the song that you are trying to memorize and then just play it over and over and again and sing along, sing along, sing along, sing along. And then it would be awesome if you also had an instrumental track, a karaoke track, but you can also do a cappella and uh, like when you're driving in your car, you don't even need to sing out loud. You could do this for hours. You can just mouth it. You can be like, So just kind of go through it in your mind as it's playing or as you're just trying to memorize it. So these are great ways to practice. Even when you think you don't have time to really have a focused practice session, there is so much time that will benefit you if you do these things. Now, having said that, I do hope you're going to start practicing more. And it's not all about singing out loud all the time. There's a lot of mental work and there's a lot of memorization work and there's a lot of just knowledge and there's a lot of listening to what you've done and that'll really help you improve while you're on the way. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to tune back in next Tuesday for another How to Sing That Song. And yes, do check out my podcast just because I'm putting a lot of heart and soul into that. And uh, you can find it on iTunes, any other podcast player, and you can put it on your cell phone. It is so easy nowadays. Anywhere you go, you have it with you. And what your podcast player would do, it will automatically download the newest episode when, whenever it comes out. So you'll always have it. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.